Hello and welcome to WorshipTutorials.com. My name is Brian. This is uh, the next lesson in our beginner guitar lesson course. We're going to talk about how to hold the guitar and your posture. And I promise we're going to get to playing chords just as soon as possible. But these are important things to learn along the way. So this is going to be a quick one. And uh, it's really just going to teach you how you're supposed to sit when you hold a guitar, uh, when you're practicing, when you're learning, and uh, how you put your hands on the guitar and play it. I'm going to be teaching with an acoustic guitar today, a dreadnought guitar. Um, if you have an electric guitar, the same basic principles apply. It's just going to be probably a lot smaller and closer to your body. So the first thing to talk about is how you sit. Um, your posture is important, and uh, posture is just important, period. You've probably heard people tell you that in the past. But uh, when I sit to play a guitar, I sit straight up. Make sure your spine is completely straight. Sit up. Uh, don't slouch like this. Don't sit back like this. Um, just sit straight up. And uh, if you can, try and get your, you want your legs sort of at a 90 degree angle to your body. So you have a right angle here, which gives you a great surface to put the guitar on. So this acoustic guitar, dreadnought guitar, has uh, a contour to the bottom of it, as you can see. And uh, it sort of fits right on your leg. Now I'm going to switch to the sky cam here and show you a few things not to do. So uh, we're looking straight down on the guitar now, and what I want you to notice is the guitar is pretty much uh, perpendicular to my leg. Uh, horizontal would be this way, perpendicular this way. Pretty much straight up and down. One thing that I've noticed that uh, a beginner guitar players will struggle with is holding the guitar like this. And I've switched back up so you can see how bad <laughs> that is or what I'm talking about. But sort of holding it at an angle to your body. Now, they will do this because it's easier to look over and see what your fingers are doing. If you're holding the guitar like this and you look down at it, uh, it's kind of hard to see. The, you can't really see the strings. You've got to kind of you know, get over like this and look. But it is important that you hold the guitar a straight up and down like this. Uh, I'm going to go back up to uh, this camera up top and show you how your hand, your fretting hand should be. You put your fingers on the strings. I was taught to put your thumb behind like this. And uh, one thing that they, that I was taught to do is to leave some space in your hand, almost like you're holding a tennis ball is what I was told. So if you can see here, uh, your hand is sort of away from the guitar. What you don't want to do is clamp down on it like this. Uh, hopefully you can see well what I'm talking about from this shot down from the top. Uh, you don't want to clamp down on it like this. You don't want to hold it like this. Um, you want your hand to be here. You want your wrist to be sort of in a natural position. You don't want it to be out here. You don't want it to be up here. You want it to be sort of natural. Um, and for me, uh, in the size of my hands, it kind of just naturally works that my thumb kind of rests right here. And I found that that works well. But there is, as you can see from the top, there is space right here um, in my hand. My, my palm is not just like connected to the neck of the guitar. So you definitely want space. Now when, uh, we'll talk about this later, you want to have your hand in such a position so that when your fingers come down, they're coming right down on top of the strings. They're not coming down like this. This is bad. This is good. So as you can see, if you put your thumb there, you even have more uh, space in there for your fingers to come down. So you should feel pretty natural with the guitar. Again, sit it on your leg like this. Sometimes like uh, you'll see players hold it like this. That's more of a classical style uh, with, with a classical styled instrument with a with sort of a steel string, like a dreadnought uh, shaped acoustic, which is what this is. I like to put it on this leg here on the side of my strumming hand. Um, and your, your fretting arm should kind of have a natural uh, position to it. You don't want to be out here. You don't want to be up here. You kind of um, hold it close to your body. And uh, your arm should just kind of form an L when it comes over here. 
and it should comfortably reach the fretboard. Um, if you're a young person uh, and you have a, uh, a full-sized instrument and you're kind of out here with it, it might be a good idea to look into a three-quarter size guitar, which would be much more comfortable and suited for you. Um, you know, if you're maybe, you know, un, a, a, a teenager, junior high or grade school aged uh, student. Um, that might be something to look into. Now this arm sort of hangs over um, the top and uh, I kind of where your elbow breaks, I kind of put it right there as I sit, which puts you in a great position to strum. If you just hold your arm over, um, your palm should kind of come right down on top of the sound hole. It almost feels like you're hugging it close to your body, uh, but that should work well. If you sit up straight, uh, it should fall sort of naturally into this position. Uh, so if you have any questions about how to hold a guitar, if when you sit up straight and put the guitar next to you, it doesn't do that. And like I said, if you're a smaller person and it feels like this thing is, is up here, you know, your one arm's up here and the other's out here. Uh, again, it might be time to look for a smaller three quarter size instrument. Um, and certainly a lot of manufacturers make that um, and that might fit you better. If you have any questions, leave them over at worshiptutorials.com. Again, if you've stumbled on this video at uh, YouTube or if you uh, Google search has led you here and you're interested in learning how to play the guitar from start to finish, please head over to Worship Tutorials and sign up for this course. It is absolutely free and uh, it will just allow you to track your progress from one lesson to the next and uh, we'll have you playing songs in no time. I will see you in the next lesson. Bye.